sorry, it's like really bright behind me, but uh, but anyway, um, so this is a kind of like a update vlog for the 21 inch front, all right, so this, this, this saga of the 21 inch front wheel, I've gone through like so much to try to get this thing to fit, so, so I'll give a little recap of what's going on. And hopefully this will be it for today. <laughs> this will be it. Other than like, yeah, we're going to go dirt biking. I'm planning to go dirt biking this week, okay, or next week. Um, and so I bought this uh, this wheel from Stan off of eBay, all right, and, um, and I installed an 8100 21-inch tire on it, and it didn't fit, all right? It doesn't fit with these RST forks, okay? So, so, um... I went and ordered a uh, one of these uh, Dunlop K990s. All right, they they make they're the skinniest freaking dirt bike 21 inch tire you can buy. All right, it, it's a 7121. It's a 7121 uh, knobby front tire. All right, is what it is. And and then, yeah, so uh, so I ordered it from Revzilla, and they sent me the wrong tire. All right, they, it was like a 10 inch tire. It was like the same. It was the right, the first two numbers were right, I think, but it, the, the last number was not right, and it was like a 10-inch tire. It was this teeny tiny little thing, all right? And uh, so I wound up returning that, and they actually gave me some credit because they messed up. And then uh, and then I tried to order it through Santa Clara Cycle Accessories, and they were just, just taking too long to get it. They, they had it on back order for like a month when they said they were going to get it in like a week or two. Um, so I was waiting, 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 and I said like, ah, forget it. I just ordered it from Revzilla. I used up that store credit they gave me, and then, um, and so yeah, there it is. And then I installed it. All right, um, it wasn't as hard to install. It, it's about as hard to install as the stock tire on the 19-inch ring. All right, the the regular the seven the was it 7119. It's about the same. I, I heard it was really hard to get it on there, but it, it was as hard as the 19 was to install. It's, problem is these tires are too damn skinny all right the skinnier the tires are the harder it is to work with okay um, okay so now I've got another problem all right the the left side of the wheel uh, the knobs they rub on the fork all right so if you see see right there I'm getting some resistance okay it spins and sometimes it doesn't worse okay so what I've got to do today is in this in this vlog I'm gonna dish the wheel, all right? Um, so dishing the wheel is it allows you to shift the the wheel to the left or to the right a little bit, all right? So in this case, we gotta shift the wheel. If we're looking this way, we gotta shift it to the right. We gotta go that way, okay? So so to do that, I've been doing some YouTube research, okay? And to do that, you've got to uh, you've got to loosen up the spokes on the side that you want. To shift it opposite of, and then tighten the spokes on the side that you want the um, the wheel to move towards that way. Okay, so it loosens up one side, and you tighten it on the other side. All right, so so here's the plan. All right, the plan is to all the spokes that are attached to the left side of the hub. All right, we're going to loosen. Uh, we're going to loosen half a turn. Okay, and then. Uh, all the ones that are on the right side of the hub, we're going to tighten it half a turn, all right? And that should shift the wheel that away, okay? You got it? The way you're looking right now, it's going to go that away, all right? So let's take a look at what we're working with real quick. <laughs> okay, see, so it kind of rubs a little bit, all right? Sometimes it's worse. If I take the wheel off and I put it back on, it's worse. Also, I need to replace the brakes on my bike. That, that's a different vlog, so check that out. <laughs> I bought a new brakes. My brakes are start, are just failed, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's rubbing here on the left side, like where the this damn freaking fork brace is, man. I wish this fork brace was in here. Yeah, it's rubbing here a little bit. All right, but we got plenty of room on this side. Yeah, we've got like, like, like three millimeters, quite a bit of room, all right? So if definitely shifting it this way would help a bit, okay? Now, I, I heard also when, when you dish a rim, you should really do it for the bike, okay? Um, some bikes are different than others, and I guess that seems to be the case here. It's, it's more, we need to dish it that way, okay? So we need to shift the wheel that way, the rim, okay? So, wish me luck. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, to aid me in this is I'm going to use my good old spoke wrench, all right? This is my 
spoke wrench I've had since uh, I was a little kid, all right? <laughs> when I used to ride bicycles back in the days when they still had steel frames and everything. All right, um, yeah, I'm still using it. So the, um, the Suron one uses 10s, all right? The one we have to use is like a nine or something. It's a little bigger. Actually. All right, nine. It's one of those, yeah, there we go, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start I'm gonna start at the valve stem, all right? So that's a good that's a good place, or you mark it somewhere, okay? And then and then we're gonna go and turn every spoke that's on the right side. We're gonna loosen it first, okay? And then we're gonna and then we're gonna go back around again and tighten all the ones that are on the other side, all right? So this one we'd loosen because it goes on the left, all right? This one we would tighten because it goes to the right side, okay? All right, and then this one loosen. This one tighten, and then you just, you know, just take your time. This one you would loosen, this one we tighten, and it just alternates that way, okay? So that's the plan. I'm going to do half a turn, and then we'll just keep on doing it in half a turn increments until I get it, so until it won't touch anymore, all right? Now, will this mess up the handling at all? I don't know. I don't think so. If we shifted it like a millimeter or two, I don't think it'll make much of a difference, okay? But definitely it will fix this rubbing problem we're having okay it's rubbing quite a bit and I'd imagine when the wheel starts to flex a little bit it's gonna rub even more so um, I want to get the perfect clearance all right and then I'll say hey yeah it's good to go <laughs> okay I still kind of not happy how close this fender is to the tire too man it's really really close all right but I don't think it will pack up with mud because it, it would pack up from the other end right so all right anyway here we go. Yes, we go. All right, he's making here. So I just got done loosening this side of the wheel, all right? So already, you already notice it's much better than it was before. It's still pretty close, all right? So hopefully, when we tighten the other side, it'll be better, all right? So um, it's pretty easy to tell how much you turn it, all right? So I've been turning it 180 degrees, one, like, half a rotation, right? So what I would do is put the spoke on, uh, on like, it would be on the nipple, right? But... Um, so I'm looking at it right now, so it's it's that way, right? So you got to flip it 180. All you got to do is turn it so you see the other side, all right? So now I got to do the opposite. I got to go the other way, okay? All right, wish me luck. Okay, I'm done. So it took about eh, like five minutes for each side. All right, so the important thing is, yeah, just make sure you remember where you started from. So we started from the valve stem and then we worked our way around, okay? Um, I started from the front of the valve stem from this side, okay? So as you can see, no more rubbing. Yeah, all right. Okay, so if you look here, all right, so just loosening it helped a lot already, all right? So that's how much clearance there is now. Um, yeah, right there. Okay. That's a good, mm, like, one or two millimeters, right? And this side is a good one or two millimeters. So I think I did a good job, all right? Good job, Hades Omega. All right, so loosening it shifted it a little bit, and then tightening it shifted it even more, okay? And then now it's, like, dead in the center now, all right? 
at least I think it is all right but yeah it's not rubbing anymore and when the wheel flexes okay because it because you know wheels flex when they're put under a lot of load um, it won't rub as bad anymore okay so there all we go right, there we go so that's the first time Hades Omega has dished a wheel before all right so I learned I learned I just learned something new all right how to how to dish a wheel or shift it from left or right okay so so the gist of it is you got to um, the direction you want to go, you got to loosen the opposite spokes and then tighten the, the spokes that you want it to go in that direction, okay? And what I did was half a turn, all right? Uh, I think that was perfect. It was just right, all right? Half. You should do it a little bit at a time. I think half a turn is fine. So what I should probably do next is check for a spoke tightness. I think I did check if the spokes were tight, all right? But, but you should just tap it with a screwdriver or something, and it should make a kind of pinging sound, okay? And they seem like they're okay. Okay, but yeah, it, it's definitely much better than it was before. It rolls smoothly now. It doesn't rub on the on the uh, fork brace anymore. All right, so there you go. There's your 21 inch front on the stock RST Killa fork. All right, so I'm wondering if this. I well, well, in a in a later ep in the next episode in a later episode you'll find out. All right, or a later vlog. You'll find out if this 21 inch front made a difference, all right? I'm hoping it will, all right? Um, I'm actually pretty amazed the stuff I can do with this with just the Super Boto wheels in the dirt. And, and then like now it just should be like freaking awesome, right? It's be like almost a trials bike type of thing. Just roll over stuff, no problem, right? Um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited to test it out. So it's ready to go. Uh, and in, in the next, uh, in the next, in another vlog, I will be uh, installing new brakes for this. So if you want to check that out, um, check that video. They're Magura MT5s, okay? Um, yeah, the, the old brakes, they're, 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 they're no good anymore. That's <laughs> so all I'm going to say, okay? Um, but yeah, look, check that video out. Um, so Hades, I'm just going to make a little disclaimer. Hades Vic is not an a, a experienced wheel builder or anything like that, okay? I just know a thing or two about spoke wheels, all right? I know how to tighten spokes a little bit, all right? Um, I don't, I never built a wheel before. Um, and so I'm just, I just dished a wheel that somebody else built for me, okay? Um, and do you need to do that? You might need to do that, all right? Like I said, they're, it's different for every bike, okay? Um, you dish the wheels to the bike, okay? So that's why that's why it's important to that's why you would want to do something like this if it was rubbing on something, okay? So let's say uh, let's say your wheel has uh, let, let's say like in the rear the wheel is touching something like it's touching the 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 chain. So what you could do is you could dish the rim to the side a little bit to the left side in this case, so the chain doesn't rub on the wheel as much, all right? If, it, if it's rubbing a lot, you would want to do this, all right? And this was kind of rubbing a lot, all right? Um, I remember I took it off and I put it on and I was like, man, it's like it's rubbing big time now. So now, at least now it's rubbing less, all right? But it, yeah, it doesn't rub at all, actually. So that's good. But maybe it might be a little bit off sometime. But I don't mind if it rubs a little bit, but if it does, if it rubs a lot, I do care. <laughs> so, but I... I I, I'm happy to know that like yeah, it's it's pretty much in the center now. Okay. All right there at the end of Hades Mega's dishing vlog I hope it was uh, informative and educational and entertaining. Thanks for watching. Hades Mega out.